Mom, do you have any mint? Hey everyone, this is Anna with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. As you can hear, my helper is here. What's your name? Kelsey. Kelsey. And we have a pretty exciting video today. I have been forcing myself to do work for the last hour and a half while I, my, um, let's see if I can show you this. I don't know if you can see this. My pre-order box, you can't really see this very well, I understand. My pre-order box from the upcoming annual catalog has arrived and I am so excited to open it, but I have a lot of other stuff going on today. So I was forcing myself to do some work before I allowed myself to open it. Uh, now I wanna share this with you. I don't wanna keep all the excitement to myself. I wanna share some of these really cool products with you. Now, I ordered a handful of the products out of this. This is the new catalog. I know you cannot see the whole thing on your screen right now, but um, aren't these pretty? This is from one of the product suites, um, but I love these, these cards that they shared here. There's real simple cards with really pretty fonts, really pretty uh, plant prints, leaves and things. So I'm not allowed to show you what's inside. I will mention this now and maybe again at the end. If you want to see the entire annual catalog right now, you could see it today if you want to online. Um, the way to do that is to sign up on my Sassy Stampers team. And there's a lot of things that that, a lot of benefits that come with that. I know a lot of times it scares people, but once they learn more about it, usually it does not seem so scary. So I will talk about that a little bit more at the end, I think, but I wanted to show you the cover. This is my, this is my um, one that I printed on printer paper. And when you print like 200 pages on printer paper, this is what it looks like. I don't think my husband was impressed that I printed that much. Uh, double, it's double-sided. It's double-sided in color. It took, I don't know what the problem was with our printer, but it took... I'm going to say like 12 hours to print that whole thing. Sometimes from PDF files, it just doesn't, it takes really slow printing. It took forever, but it was totally worth it because my actual copy should be coming here in another day or a couple of days, but I haven't seen it yet. So I've been using that one in the meantime. Okay, so I am opening my catalog right now. It's like Christmas, pretty much. It is, am I allowed to say that Opening my new product, my new Stampin' Up! product boxes might be more exciting than Christmas. I hope that's not the wrong thing to say, but uh, Mom, it's kind of the way I feel. For, um, for me it isn't, but for you I guess it is. I'm sure for you Christmas is more exciting. That's right. That's good. When you get old, it's just not the same. <laughs> Alright, so... Got some flyers. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to organize slightly to pull things out here. I'm gonna try and find if we have bundle packages. I'm gonna try and find the things that go together. And I found my first matching set. The jar of flowers stamp set. And this is called the jar punch. No, that's reflecting a little bit. See if you can see it. But I love this. We had, let's see, we had a couple of jar sets a few years ago, but they were with dies. I am loving that this is with the punch. Punches are my favorite. So you can use these adorable jars to put the different flower bouquets in them, or I'm envisioning um, putting little fireflies inside of them for a cute card. But I love that. We we always have some, uh, we always have lots of floral sets. And this is a very cool one for this year. So loving these jars. I'm pretty excited that that was on our pre-order list. That we could get that one if we wanted to. Here's another bundle. My I think my small assistant is trying to find matching products. So maybe this will go a little bit faster. She's helping me. 
Just excuse the, the loud noises in the background. Here is another bundle package that I wanted to get this and was really excited that it was on our list we could order from right now as well. Field of Flowers. Yeah. So just real simple uh, flowers and leaves. And then and again, I'm, I'm like a punch addict. I love punches because they're so fast to use. So this punch coordinates with... <laughs> She, she's almost as excited as me. I love pearls. So there's a stamp in here that is all of these flowers together. And you can stamp them all together and then you can punch them all out together. I do believe I will have to play around with that. But oh, and it looks like the way this looks, it looks like you can turn it into a border. Very cool. Love the field of flowers. And I love... Some of these fonts on our stamps, I'm I am just loving. I love, love that uh, cursive type font. I'm going to show you this one. Look at your embossed. Ooh. Now, I think these go together. I'm not going to make any promises. Here's your others. Okay, thank you, darling. Yes. So, and I'm going to pull this out of this wrapper real quick. So this is that stamp set featured on the cover of the catalog with really nice greetings. Love is what makes us a family, miles apart, but still in my heart, cherished friend, trust me, your lovely smile. Uh, we have heartfelt, always wildly grateful, you're my person just because these are really nice ones for anything. Uh, just general cards you can make up and have on hand that then you could leave the inside blank. And when you need a card for somebody, pull it out. And if it's a birthday, you could stamp a birthday greeting on the inside or whatever it's for, but just really pretty and simple. And this, my friends, I'm pumped about playing around with this. When I, I will start making videos and sharing on my blog about these new products as soon as I am able to, which should be the next day or a couple of days, but this may be the first thing I have to play with, is this punch right here. It punches two different tag ends. So you could take a little rectangle of paper, slip the one end, punch it, flip it around, slip the other end, punch it again, and you have a cute little tag. But it does both of these tag designs, and you can do different widths. So this looks probably like a half inch, three quarter inch, and a one inch end on each of those. So that is very cool. I cannot wait to play with that. Now let's see where we're at back here. I've got some die sets that I need to open up and flip around so that you can see what hey, Mom, is you got in lots these. Of ribbon. And look at this. Do I have lots of ribbon? Look at this in boss. Bear with me. I know this is completely disorganized, but this is what we get since we are sharing in this together. I could have snuck a peek and organized, but I decided not to. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining in. I am so excited. I, I was so excited to see our catalog. A couple of weeks ago when we were able to see it for the first time, I, this whole thing, you know, this whole period has been somewhat dreary, if I may say. And I just feel like this is a bright spot in a dreary time. Something fun, something exciting to look forward to. So, okay, I'm sort of getting myself together here. Not really. You like the sparklies. Yeah. Okay, here is another bundle set, which is amazing. These... Gosh, these are pretty. So this is the Blossoms and Bloom stamp set, as you can see. And then this die set is called Many Layered Blossoms. Comes together as a bundle if you want to get both at the discounted 10% off, of course. But look at how pretty these are. These flowers, you could cut the whole thing. You could use it as one big piece. Or if you wanted to... You could trim, you know, cut the big piece and then trim them and just use smaller flowers. A few of them if you want to. You can layer these. We could use one as it is or layer them with the smaller one on top of the larger one. 
and I'm picturing some gorgeous cards just with these stamps as well. So make sure you stop back and tune in to whatever I have happening because you will be seeing some samples with this set. I'm not sure if my helper organized or we, we, I'm all, I'm all thrown off here with whatever's happening. Okay, so let's figure out what these are. Oh, oh, okay. Actually, I think I'm going to save this one for last because I think it might be my favorite. Which let's one? try this, and I have a feeling this die set probably goes with. I'll let you watch, look at this for right now. Look at this beauty. Ferns. I Forever Ferns. Forever Fern. So right now we have one fern stamp in the Positive Thoughts stamp set. And I was talking to somebody, I've talked to a couple of people about it lately actually, that we, I think, I think uh, me and other people besides myself have purchased stamp sets before just because they have a fern stamp in them that we really liked. Um, this one is full of all of these different ferns and <laughs> foliage and branches, but I, I could see these in all different colors, not just greens, but those are going to be beautiful. It's got some really nice greetings with it, and it has the die set that it looks like we have, I believe, a die to coordinate with each of these, plus some other ones. Ooh, I love that. Very cool. Um, those look like ginkgo leaves. Sorry, I'm a plant dork. I love them. So that is going to be beautiful. Those will be great for, gosh, they could be for wedding cards. They could be for sympathy cards, just because cards, those can be for all sorts of things. Oh, Kelsey, I'm so excited. I have to breathe. I'm more excited. Let's... Take a little. Oh, I know what we need to do. What? Hmm? Hold on a second. Oh, really? We will use these. So, you probably have not seen the new in colors. If you follow along, you know that every year we introduce five new colors. They stay for two years, then they retire. They're called in colors. So, each year we introduce five more. They're going to be around for two years. So, we have in colors that have been around for a year and will be around for one more year. Now it's time for some new in colors. And let's do let's do the grand reveal of what the colors are. Of these colors of your ink. So yeah, our new cardstocks and inks. So I do not know the names of all of these yet. But I can cheat because they're labeled on here. So we're going to just is... mix them up. Mom, I think I know what this one okay. is. Okay. Can you tell us what this is called? Crushed Curry. Oh, no, no, no. That We already have that. This one is a little bit different, baby. What's this one called? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. That's a pretty yellow. Not too light, not too dark. That's going to be really nice. This one is just jade. Very good. That is a pretty green. I'm going to use that a lot. Kind of soft, but not real light. It's got a little more blue in it than our lighter greens right now, and I like that. Do you know what this one is? Cinnamon cider. Very good, and I like that. Uh, I am sure in the fall I'm going to use that color a lot. This one, I was, okay, so I was somewhat devastated over losing Blueberry Bushel, but Stampin' Up! came through for us, and do you know what that says? Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight. That's a, it's kind of like a denim color. I really like that. And this is fun. Man, Magneta Madness? That's tricky. Magenta. That's one of those G's that sounds like a J. Magenta. Mad. That is fun. That is bright. So these are the new in colors. We have 
Of course, lots of coordinating things. Oh, she's stealing them from me. And lots of coordinating things. things that coordinate uh, embellishments, the ribbons. These, this is what she wanted to show you, was these cute dots that come in all of these colors. What? And these are the ribbons that come in all of the cardstock papers, too. Yes, the new co in the new colors. Very cool. So that is always fun to have new colors to play with. So I'm sure here soon I will make a video and a blog post to highlight these five new colors. Yes, ma'am. Okay, she really needs to show you these uh, embellishments. Why don't you take them out of the bag and then we can open it up and show them. Okay. These, this is my favorite color. I think. Are those just jade? Cool. I don't know for sure, but I think. Do you need help? I'm afraid these are going to go everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to open this container right now. Luckily, they did not spray all over the uh, craft area, but some pretty little embellishments that come just like, playing no adhesive on them or anything. So I like these clear ones. Those are fun. A lot of different sizes. We have some that are just kind of like frosty. There's some that are iridescent. Those are fun. I like that, that they come with an assortment. So you get lots of different ones in one little package. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. So it's always nice to have new embellishment options. So I have two embossing folders here. This is my favorite one. It looks kind of like carpet. Let's see if we open that one up for me. Okay. This one is called Old World and this coordinates with a bunch of things that I only have one of them I think here to show you today but that's going to be really nice. That wrinkle That'll be a nice, I like the real nice basic prints that you can use with anything, or textures, I guess. You can use with anything. It's not real bold, just a basic old world wrinkly texture that you could use for all sorts of projects. And this one is called Tasteful Textile. So I don't know if any of you know what our subtle embossing folder is. But it is kind of like this, but very, very, very subtle. This is going to be a nice one similar to that, that once again gives them some texture. So you don't have to, you could just put one of these in the background of a card and not have to do a lot else. But give it a little bit of interest. Here is, I don't know how many of you pay attention to these, but our 6x6 six six paper packs that come in all of our colors. You can get... The Brights collection, the Subtles collection, the In Colors collection. So this is our one with our new colors. Whoa! The, those are cute. So they come, you get... The, the same colors that we had on the big part stuff. Yes, the new In Colors. So you get several sheets of each color, and there are four different prints for each color. So this one has polka dots and whatever you want to call that. And this one has little words. And on the other side, oh, wood grain. I love wood grain. I really like to use wood grain things on my projects. So there's that. Let's look at a few DSP packs. Or, in other words, designer series paper. Do you want to help open these? No, I want to show them my favorite. Well, I don't know which one that is. It's... Why don't you get that one open while I show them this one? Okay. So we have a few of our designer papers here. Uh, there I are a lot more on the way we cannot reveal all of the fun surprises to you now that just wouldn't that just wouldn't work out but this is called world of good and it is gorgeous because it has these gold accents there is a big one that's a ma map wow that's neat we have compasses 
another map. And then on the back side, typically, they're all kind of more subtle prints. So, what else do we have on the back? Yellow, Mom, very pretty. These kinds of, this kind of paper is my favorite. The designer papers, I know. So she, my little helper, she has tons of designer papers and craft supplies that all of my crafty friends have donated to her. But she doesn't want her craft stuff. She wants the good stuff. She wants mine. Right. Yeah. You're always trying to rob my designer paper. <laughs> and the uh -huh. des and the designer paper is retiring, so um I wanted post it notes, so um I stapled some of the I punched some um of the designer paper out and then stapled them together and then they're post it notes. <laughs> okay, so I like can you oh you're gonna show us this. Okay. Come this? on up, bring it in so they can they got it's gotta be here for them to see it. So this is called In Good Taste. I'm not sure what the big reveal. Okay. And we were just talking about wood grain. This pack is perfect. The last few years we've had a few, like a pack or two each year that had some wood grain in it. But the last big pack we had with wood grains was a six by six pack. This one, we got full 12 by 12s. We can scrapbook with this stuff. But these, look at the, I, I don't know about you. I'm like a natural this one's carpet farmhouse style decorating kind of person. I live on a farm. So, you know, I like all this kind of stuff, but I know I'm not the only one. But these, I just think, are beautiful. I love this one that's got like a hint of blue on it. And then what do we got on the other side? Let's do a big flip and we'll bring in... Ooh, oh my gosh. I, for, I forgot what these look like. Probably because I haven't seen them in real life yet. This one. I love that one. I love Which one's this your, one. That one? Yeah. I love this one. These are so cool. I am loving this pack. This one with the hexagons is very cool. I'm excited. Mom, is it my turn yet? Well, that was your turn. I thought, where's... Here. So, do you want to bring your post-it notes in? We can show them your post-it notes if you like. Since she was telling you about her post-it notes, maybe we can make that whole thing make sense for you. Okay, I need some snips. I need some snips to open this paper. This one is called Forever Greenery. And it coordinates with that fern set I just showed you. So let's look at a few of these. Love these. Lots of different fern prints in here. And then what do we have on the other side? Ooh, that must be that just jade color. I love that. Some more subtle prints on the back, as you can see, as always. I always tell people that about our designer papers. They're all double-sided. And if you don't like the more bold, um, kind of specific print on one side like high heels, for example, on a pack that we just had. If you flip it over the other side, it's usually something really basic and pretty that you could use for just about anything. So love that. You always have two options. Very cool. Let's see. So these are all kind of toned down colors in these packs that I have to share with you today. But keep in mind, we have lots of bright papers on the way as well. Ooh, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> what is? <laughs> wow. What What am I looking at right now? Wow. Forever Gold. I only ordered it, but I can't remember what it is. Oh my goodness. It's okay. And the reason is because when you see the little pictures Ooh. in the catalogs, it just doesn't come to life until you see it in real life. Look at these. This is called Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series Paper. Oh my goodness. So we have several layers of these. These are all die cuts. So I'm going to punch Mom, a couple of these out. Wow, those are pretty. So here is one. 
Oh my goodness. De okay, ferns. We're talking about ferns. Let's talk about ferns some more. Mom, is it my turn yet? <laughs> Just a second. Okay. Wow. Wow. Those are beautiful. Oh, Kelsey, which ones of these am I going to use first to make some cards for everybody to see? I don't know how I'm going to decide. I think it's worse for first and best for last. Worse for first. We have this thing here. She started it. But I'm, I've always been this way. Worse for first and best for last. That. That's like, I told you I made myself do some work before I let myself do this. Uh, you know, worse for first, best for last. Like when we eat supper... You eat whatever you like the least first, right? Mm -hmm. Save the best for last. Yeah. I don't know how to do that with here with this because I think I love all of these. Like when we have vegetables and macaroni, I eat my vegetables first yeah. and then my macaroni. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay. She wants to show your post-it notes. Thank you for watching along for this small circus. If you are still here, we're like a tag team circus act, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so show show them what show them why it's a post-it note. They can't see because, that. You gotta come up here. Because um, I put I cut well I um punched out these and then um I stapled this and then I wrote a little thing on here so they know what this is and then I have another B post-it. This is from the B paper, and this is from the B paper. Paper. This is from the February paper. Okay, cool. So they flip through. She has a. She started this thing called a sticker shop, and they have. She and McKenna have things for sale. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to keep moving. So those are the post-its that she loves to make out of my designer papers which i allowed her to because they're retiring they're going away and i won't use a lot of them for projects i'm sharing with you at least anymore okay where are we so i need to share i've got a few more things here i think i'm gonna keep them back here for now but i have here we go this is gonna be our grand finale what? So let me get it ready. I need to get the die set ready so you can see it. Oh, okay. I get it. This might have been, This was one of the things when I saw it. I just immediately was completely in love with it. And I don't know if it's going to look like it now. Because you're not seeing any samples of things made with this. But this is our sunflower set. So the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set and the sunflowers die sets we've got some little foliage uh ferny grassy things back here plus the big beautiful and bold sunflowers and i i can't oh, i can't wait to see project samples with this because i like i said i think this might be my number one favorite i just love this Got the little die to do the centers if you want. Make it pop up. I can't wait. I can't wait. I think I just scared. Is it my I just turn? I just scared Kelsey a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna share today. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're following along with my website, scrapping stamping and stuff.com, my Facebook Lives, and my Facebook group, which is also called Scrapping Stamping and Stuff. I will share these on YouTube as well. Um, but we're gonna have lots of new things coming. Ordering begins on June 3rd. That's kind of a long time to wait, right? Mm -hmm. and catalogs will come out if you make right if you purchase from me, have have purchased from me recently. You'll be getting a catalog in the mail here in a few weeks. If you would like to see what's in here right now and order pre-order products like what I have done and get some of these things that I have, and there's others available too that I did not order this time, but you can sign up as a demonstrator. And what that means is you can order the starter kit which you get to pick $125 worth of products for $99. So it's already a good deal because you get more stuff than you're paying for. You get free shipping. That's over $12 savings. You get a paper pumpkin kit that they'll send you. 
you get catalogs, you get all sorts of things with that starter wow. kit for just $99 plus tax. So then after, when, when you order a starter kit, you can include these new items on that. You just need to contact me so that I can send you the documents so that you can see what's available and see these new products. And then when you sign up with your starter kit, you can add them, add the new stuff on your starter kit order. Once you're signed up, you are a demonstrator. That does not mean you have to do classes. That does not mean you have to sell products. It does not really mean you have to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, I have a lot of demonstrators on my team who are hobby demonstrators, which means they order to get their own discount, and that is what they do. Um, some eventually decide they want to do classes and things like that, but you don't have to. Uh, so they order, get the discount. It starts at a at least a 20% discount. That's the bare minimum. It's pretty easy to move up from there if you're ordering a little bit more than the minimum, but um, just a really good opportunity. We, my, my team members, we meet monthly on, over Zoom for those of you who, who, for people who want to and are able to. And it's just really fun. We share ideas and uh, brainstorm with each other. And it's just, just a great group to be a part of. So if you have any interest in that, let me know. Like I said, I could get you the information. You could see these items and order them on your starter kit. And I would love to welcome you to my team. So those of you who purchase from me, you'll have catalogs coming mid to late May. If you don't get one from me, let me know. I will send one to you. And if you would like to get a catalog from me, you haven't purchased from me lately, just make a per go to scrappingstampingandstuff.com. There's a link to my online store. If you make any size purchase, I will send you a catalog in your thank you kit. Uh, I do not have these in hand yet, but as soon as I do, I will get I will get them out to you. So thanks for joining in, everybody. I hope you have a great day and stop back to see all of the fun things that we create with these things we just shared.